Before running the simulation, it is useful to create some plots of the composition on the outlet of the bed over time and also the composition profile in the bed. We are going to do this for the flow sheet we created in the simple flow sheet tutorial. Before we run the simulation, it is useful to create some plots to review the results either while it's running or at the end. First of all, I am going to make the flow sheet the wallpaper. This is useful to keep the flow sheet in the background all the time as we open forms. To create a new plot, you can either use the New Form button in the toolbar or you can also from the Tools menu select New Form. We're going to start by creating a time plot for the outlet compositions. So this is a time plot, the time is in the x-axis and now we're going to add variables to the y-axis. So the outlet compositions are actually in the results form of the product unit. We have these y forward variables. You can multi-select by holding down the control key. Now if we let go of the control key, click with the left mouse button, we can drag all the variables to the plot. We can change the properties of this plot. Say if we want a variable in each axis, we can select here one for each and click apply. We can add the grid. We can change from lines and markers. So there's quite a few selections you can make here to customize your plot. Now we also want to have a composition profile plot for the column. So we're going to now choose a profile plot. And a composition profile plot actually gives you a profile for a particular time. So right mouse clicking in the plot. We're going to pick profile variables here. And we're going to create a profile for each component. Let's start with nitrogen. So that's the profile name. And we want to add variables to it. You can do this by either entering the whole path to the variable manually or we can use variable find which is again on the tools variable find or if you want to find variable specific to a block you can select the block and then right mouse click on it and select find. So I want to find the composition variables in this block and as you know they're discretized I'm going to pick the one I want, which is the composition in the layer. And I'm going to pick node 1 and just drag and drop it over there. Now I can double click this variable path to edit it and use wildcard characters. So I use the star to make it look in every layer. In this case, there's only one. But if later I want to add another layer, then this plot is already prepared for that. And I want to have the composition in each node. So again, I use the wildcard star for that. So I'm going to do the same for oxygen. And again, the easiest way is to drag and drop so we don't make any typing mistakes. And then just edit it to pick up all the elements of the array. Now that I've defined both profiles, one for nitrogen and one for oxygen, I can select to plot them. You can optionally also create an axis profile. Your x-axis is going to be the node number in this case if I don't select anything. And then I'd like to point out also this time settings tab. By default, we're going to have a continuous update and I'm going to leave it like that. But you can also specify certain times. Beware if you start specifying different times, it will draw two lines for each time and it can be get very crowded. You can also specify an interval. I'm just going to leave it as a continuous update and click OK. Again, you could have edited the properties and customized this further like we did for the uh, time plot. So now that we have our plots defined, the other important thing to bear in mind is the communication interval. And you can find this in the run options. The run options can also be open from the run menu. So here it's where we define the run mode, the communication interval. I'm going to make it slightly smaller so we can see a little bit more. This determines how frequently the values are returned from the solver to the plots. And in a dynamic simulation, it's also useful to define a pause time. I'm going to define 1000 seconds. Otherwise, the simulation will run indefinitely. I'm going to click OK here and we're almost ready to run. 
The plots are stored in the flow sheet folder. You can see them here, composition profile and outlet compositions. And you can also open them from this toolbar button, the forms browser button, where you can have a look at what plots you have available, including in, in blocks. You can open any forms from there. So before I run, I am going to save my file. And it's always useful particularly when you get into more complex flow sheets, to first do an initialization run. This converges the simulation for the initial condition you specified. So we want to make sure it's converging for the initial condition. So now that I have the initialization run converged, I can run the simulation dynamically. And if you watch closely, you will see the values changing in the plots as the simulation progresses. So we can see the final composition profile at 1,000 seconds. I would like to point out that these time values are not going to be saved in your simulation. So I would always suggest that you save your simulation at time zero. You can use the restart button to go back to time zero. You can see now that the simulation is at time zero again. And if you would like to make changes to the flow or the pressure, you can do them now and run the simulation again. And I always suggest you save at time zero because you're saving at the initial condition that you converged for.